Well, hello there, everyone. It's Peter here from GoodyReader.com. We have two e-readers here today. We're going to show you. We got the Icarus Lumina HD 2, and we have the Boy U T62. These two readers, I can't really hide the fact that they look very, very, very similar. I'm going to grab a pen here to show you exactly what I mean. App symbol, book symbol, app symbol, book symbol, back, uh, sorry, home back, Glow, home back glow, almost the exact same characters used for both, same formatted time, recently read, recently added, recently read, recently added, dot, 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 dot. These are the exact same e-readers because they pretty much are, they're just using a little bit of a different shell. Even then, uh, even with that, you still have refreshes, backs, and physical buttons. Let's take a look at them side by side. So we have all the fun stuff happen on the bottom here of the Boyu. We have status indicator light, power button, 3.5 mil headphone jack, hard reset, micro USB, and micro SD. The 3.5 mil headphone jack, yes, it is for audio. This does do audio. The back is a nice hard rubber feel. There's nothing on any of the sides. I've turned it off. I will turn it back on. And on the Icarus Illumina HD2, you see we have a very similar layout of all the buttons and everything. The back is pretty much the same material, nothing on any of the sides. Similar things on the bottom, minus the 3.5 mil headphone jack because this has no audio. Let's look at the software side of things. The, the two readers side by side are almost exactly identical. Let's click on apps and see what we have. We've loaded the Goody Reader e-ink app store on both of these. This is the only e-ink app store in the world where you can download um, directly to e-ink with open Android. This comes with Adobe Reader, that's very nice, but you can just load it on this because it is open Android and you can just download Adobe Reader. The, the Boyu comes with a couple of cool features like Jingdong. This is a streaming website a streaming service where you can stream tons of books, uh, download tons of books, and pretty much read them directly via the internet. So this is a book in Chinese we have, unless you're studying Chinese, or you learn, or you know Chinese, not going to do you much good, but it is a cool service to have if that is the case. Uh, this one. I'm a master. So we also have this little ghost symbol and what this is is a manga streaming s website. So you can go and stream tons of different mangas like you just saw there and I'll press back. You can choose chapters and you can choose the manga that most suits you. Lots of cool stuff to choose from. Once again, Chinese only. If you don't speak Chinese, uh, sorry, read Chinese or um, are learning Chinese, it might be difficult for you to grasp. I'm being nice. It will be impossible for you to grasp. So we're going to open up the Dungeons and Dragons Monster Manual as per usual because this is a good mix of um, pictures and text. So what we're going to do is, this is reflow now that we're here it's good to show you. This will be the difference between reflowing and non-reflow. Reflow gets rid of all the banners, all the shading, all the images and just gives you text. Of course on a monster's manual that's pretty useless because you want to see what monster it is. You want to see the images and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and turn reflow off. We're also going to utilize the go to and we're going to go to the same page I'm on right now. And we'll take this opportunity to look at the keyboards. Keyboards are a little bit different. You have squares on this one and you have these nice shaded keys on the Boyu. So it is a little bit nicer of a feel to type on this. So go to page 47 and I'll click this that I assume says go. Yes, it does. Looking at these side by side, they're identical because they're identical. They're running the same screen technology. Pretty much everything head to toe is the exact same. Why do you run away from me? Page 47. Okay, now is it going to go to 48 because I clicked it? No. So we're going to look at what we can change here. We have grayscale options, fit to corners, fit to width, clip margins, reflow, pretty much everything is exactly the same, even the top. Bookmarks, more, search, and the glow light function are all in the same place. The reading experience PDF is not the greatest. It's very slow, it's very laggy, 
The reason we're showing this and not anything else is because there are literally thousands, I was going to say millions, but there's, there may be millions, there may be hundreds of thousands of different PDF reading apps. We can't show them all. This is the stock experience we're showing you. PDF experience is not that great on these devices. Please download Adobe or Replogo or something of that manner. We're going to open up a book now and check that out. Boy, you, I said we're going, there you go, there you go, catch up, come on. So these are the books side by side. Page turns to the exact same kind of speed and right amount of flashiness. If uh, it gets too too much staining and too much ghosting, you can press the refresh button like so. Gets rid of all that kind of stuff. We'll click in the center, see what kind of options we have. Exact same font size, font margins, line space, progress bar, etc. If we long press on something. We'll see what we have. Copy, annotate, digest, dictionary. Copy, annotate, digest, dictionary. Pretty much the same device. Um, the keyboards, once again, we showed you the numbers. Now we'll show you the, the actual letters. Uh, this is all kind of cubed up. This is shaded with round conventional keys. So that is uh, a little bit nicer to feel when you're typing. The Boyu gives you kind of an ecosystem to deal with with Jingdong and the um, uh, manga reading, manga streaming service. Uh, the Icarus doesn't really have anywhere for you to download books outside you downloading things of yourself. Like if you download Kobo, you get Kobo from you get books from Kobo. If you download Amazon, you get books from Amazon, etc., etc. Both of these are running open Android, meaning that. Anything you want, you can download on here. I would not recommend downloading, say, uh, you know, Angry Birds and Temple Run because it just plain won't run very well because their e ink and their refreshes are terrible for games like that. You need something that refreshes much quicker. This is a Goody Reader App Store. We'll just show you real quick. Very simple. All you do is just click on an app you want, everything is catered towards e reading. But we will have all the essential things like comic book reading apps, e-reading apps, PDF reading apps, productivity, note-taking apps, all those, all those great things that you need. It's very simple. One-click download downloads right to your device hard drive and it installs with just the click of a button. One last thing we want to look at before we wrap up is the glow light differences. I'm just going to dive in and say the Icarus on the right here. Oh man. The glow light isn't that great. You can see tons of extreme white dots. Boom, 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 boom. Lots of gray puffing in the middle, right there, right there. The corners just dim. Looks like it's burnt, but it is not. And the extremity follows around the tops and the corners and the sides. Whereas the boy is pretty much consistent corner to corner. Let's go through the light ranges and see what we can see. You can see that it was even maxed out, so there's no real excuse. Let's go to about halfway on both of these guys. Now you can really see the faults of the Icarus. You see the side is kind of overly exposed. You see some gray, just this grid, this weird kind of wavy black stuff in the middle. Whereas the uh, Boyu, all you really get is a little bit of overall uh, overexposed intensity on the bottom here for about two millimeters. A little bit of gray here, a little bit of too much white over there. Top is a little bit gray. Uh, overall though, it is a better looking front light than the Icarus. The Icarus works. It's no problem. I can see it. It's reflecting. I mean, it, it's 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 shooting light out. I, I have no problem reading, but it's just it, my eyes draw to these gray areas and I'm like, why does it look like that? So um, that's what I would say about that. These readers are running the same OS essentially because you can see everything is almost exactly the same, but it does it. That's not a bad thing. That's an actual po positive thing, if anything, because now it means you can get the same great experience through different companies. If you like to deal with Boyu from China, you can. If you like to deal with Icarus from the Netherlands, you can. If you like to deal with Energy System from Spain, I mean, you have a lot more choices now, so you can get the same great experience on different tablets. And if you don't want things like um, Jing Dong on your device like this. You can just uninstall it and it simply goes away. So for a comparison video between the Icarus Illumina HT2 and the Boyu T62, this is Peter. Everyone, have a great day.